Hello everybody, my name is 7-Eleven and welcome to week 2 of the Pokemon Battle Association Season 8. This week we are battling Arfemius and this this guy, he's beaten me two and a half times in the past. He's beaten me um, twice in the PBA and once in the um, Ubers in an Ubers league, that's, that's where the half comes from, in my opinion, because it's, it's just a casual league. Um, so, if you look at his team, he has no, um, he has no electric immunities, so Zero Aura is going to have a fun time. Um, and, so, I brought an interesting team, I do have Zero Aura, I have Nugget, Nugget with his debut here, there is um, Fabulous Dokukis, who is also making a debut. Um, I have a specially defensive, special attacking Mega Garchomp this week, along with uh, Katara, same set as last week, and I'm bringing a Choice Banded Weavile. Choice Banded Weavile. So, uh, let's start this battle, and... Here's Mega Magnetric. We both lead with our Megas, so that's interesting. I figured that, you know, nothing really wants to take a um, an Earth Power except for Latios. So, I stay in, and I click Hidden Power. I am specially bulky, so I do live this. And so, turn one, down goes his Electric type. And there's a close combat, and so it could be a Scarf. Could be Scarf, Terrakion, we'll see. Uh, I do bring in Katari here, um, and I click Recover here just on the off chance that he, you know, clicks a strong move that I could recover, and I just I just wanted to get that burn. I just want to get that burn, and so I go in a Nugget, predicting the Stealth Rock, so things are looking good over here, and so I set rocks of my own, yes I do. And so we see Hard and Horny here. I really can't do much to Hard and Horny. Uh, but I do go for Rapid Spin as he does miss the leap. I'm sorry, he... Actually, I said that wrong because uh, I actually disconnected for a while. And in the original one, he did miss the leap seed. Um, it ultimately didn't matter uh, anyway because Nugget is faster and can Volt Switch. So, I'm sorry for getting that wrong. So, I do Volt Switch. And I, I want to get some momentum here. I bring in Tai Lung. And now, he does get close combat. And I am packing the close combat. And I'm hoping that that scares him out. It does scare him out. He brings in Latios. And I go for the Volt Switch. To get some more momentum. And so, I bring in Fabulous. Fabulous is especially defensive this week. With Wish and and such. And so he brings in Eganox. I missed the Toxic. In the original one, I did land the Toxic. Oh well. Um, so I go into Night Thief here uh, because there's not much that it can do to me. So so yeah, there, there's some more Stealth Rock and I can fire off a free knockoff. And so that was some pretty good damage. In the original uh, before the disconnection, I crit, but that ultimately didn't matter either. Um, now here was the, my first misplay, was I went into Fabulous predicting a Leech Seed, either a Leech Seed or another Spike. That was my prediction. He went for some offense and Fabulous paid the price. So now this is a 5-4 a to four battle with Fabulous going down. Very unfortunate. So I bring in Nugget here. Um, and I do click Rapid Spin here. Yes, I do. And I think he misses Leech Seed this time. If I'm correct. Yeah, he misses Leech Seed this time. And I click Volt Switch. And I bring in Zara Aura here. Tai Lung. And he misses Power Whip. Now that was going to do a solid 55%. And, and I go for close combat, takes out Hard and Horny, and now he has he has several options. He has well two options really. He he does go into Latios, 
and I switch into Nugget as he collects Draco Meteor. So this really looks like a choice scarf, Latios. And this is the part where I actually disconnected. So it was a 4-3 battle at the time, and you know, I don't know if this is a choice scarf Latios or not. If it is a choice scarf Latios, um, then Tai Lung can be an excellent answer because I'm also choice scarf. I think I'm lonely choice scarf. While Katara is a great option as well because Katara is at half, I'm sorry, Latios is at half um, special attack and pretty near half health too. And with no fairy type, um, Arfemius did not bring the Azumarill, which was pretty scary. Katara can easily just go for a Dragon Tail and be good with that. But I did not do that for whatever reason. I go into Tai Lung and I click Outrage and that kills. And I'm assuming that Outrage does a lot to the rest of his team, but it turns out that Terrakion can set up on me. So that is highly annoying. So he goes for Rock Polish here. And I really wanted the two-turn outrage, but I didn't. I got the three-turn outrage. If this was a two-turn outrage, then my Lota can come in right now and stop Terrakion set up in his tracks, but that does not happen. I get the three-turn outrage, and so that's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. Um, so just in case... My Lodic does not get two shot by this thing. Uh, I decided to leave it behind. I decided to actually let Tai Lung go down here instead of instead of Guitar coming in and taking two close combats because what can be because then he would have to set up some recovers on Blissey in order to have more longevity. But yeah, Tai Lung does go down here really unfortunate and this is where things get interesting so yeah my choice banded weavile is really the only way that I can handle Terrakion right now so Ice Shard it does go down this is now a 2-2 battle and here comes Arcanine um, I do decide to switch that was very smart of me he goes for Will-O-Wisp um, good idea going for Will-O-Wisp, but uh, yeah, Katara is the perfect switch for that. He goes for Burn Up, which is really interesting because Burn Up like burns up his ability, and so Arcanine is, has no type. So I'm kind of hoping at this point that Arcanine can be burned. I don't know if it can or not, uh, but here's a Dragon Tail, and in comes Eganox. Um... So I figured that at this point, this is a, a great opportunity to bring in Night Thief because it doesn't kill, because Seismic Toss doesn't kill. And this is where this is where I pretty much blow the game, really. Um, I'm sorry to spoil it just before the end, but um, I kind of blow, blow it here. I calculated that um, that knockoff does a minimum of 46% and I'm not wrong but it was the wrong it, it was the it was the correct answer to the wrong question um, Arcanine had more bulk than I calculated for and so when I went for knockoff it didn't kill and then Arcanine killed Night Thief and so ultimately it's just Milotic against two walls of a of Pokemon that can um, that can basically stall out Katara. Katara has recover, but Arcanine has recover, and so does Eganox. And this literally takes uh, like 60 turns. Um, I, I'm sorry, it takes 60 turns total, but it, it takes another 35, 40 turns. Of recovering and dragon tailing and scalding on occasion but I ultimately do knock out the Arcanine before Katara does go down um, 
basically whenever Arcanine switches he gets his fire type back in, back and so Stealth Rock does hurt at the end of the day the 25% instead of the 12.5% that's basically what this comes down to it is a very very long stall and I'm not going to show you the whole thing but eventually eventually Katara does take down um, let me go a couple more turns. Heck, I'll even go to turn 60 for you. Uh, yeah, this is this is where I click Dragon Tail, and then the rocks are able to knock out um, Arcanine when it comes back in. So I click Recover one last time in order for Eganox to not take me out with the Seismic Toss plus Burn Damage and Katara. Katara does land one more Dragon Tail and that is enough to knock out the Arcanine with Nugget's Stealth Rock. So Nugget does get a kill. Um, and then I know that I'm faster but there's really no point recovering. I just go for the Scald Eganox goes for the Seismic Toss, and that is the game. So, Tai Lung does get two kills. Tai Lung took out the Ferrothorn and the Latios, you know, which is a big part of, of his, you know, of his offense and defense there. Uh, Fortress took out the Arcanine with Stealth Rock. Weavile finished off the uh, Terrakion. And then Mega Garchomp took out Mega Minetri. And Eganox remains standing. Uh, so basically where I went wrong was where where I I, da I did the damage calc wrong with Weavile against Arcanine. That was a rip. And then also uh, Tokikiss, whenever Tokikiss went for went in on Ferrothorn. I I just, you know, I, I misplayed there. Um, but, and then also, like, whenever Zera Aura went on a three turn outrage instead of a two turn outrage, that was a little bit of a rip, too. Um, but, you know, things happen. Uh, but overall, I feel like I played better than I normally do. Overall, I feel like I'm in, like, this game showed a little bit of improvement on my part uh, because I think Arfemius beat me like 4-0 and 3-0 twice you know, in the two battles that he's beaten me before and now this time it was very very close to a 1-0 battle. I, I do feel that I could have won this if I played a, a little bit better um, so you know I, I lost but I'm learning from my mistakes and that's really what matters in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then like this video, comment on this video, share it with your friends, and click subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, guys, I will see you all later. Peace.